So earlier I mentioned when we're talking about breakouts, we're talking about due to compression. Okay? The compressive hoop stress exceeds the strength of the rod. Okay? Well, we can stabilize that by increasing the mud weight. Okay? But as we increase the mud weight in areas of low pore pressure, the whole, this whole curve shifts down this whole curve shifts down. So in areas of in areas of low pore pressure, this curve will shift down. And if we increase the wellbore pressure high enough, such that it now the compressive stress becomes tensile. Remember we talked about tensile stress in rocks for about one slide, and the reason is why. Rocks aren't very strong in tensile, right? They basically have no strength, you know, especially when combined with the fact that they have flaws in them, and then it becomes a fracture mechanics dominated thing. They basically have no strength in tension. And so if you increase the uh, mud weight such that you put the hoop stress into tension, now you'll have a tensile-induced fracture, okay? And so with that, and this is the reason we can't just increase the mud weight so high, you know, as high as we want to prevent the, the breakouts, is really we just have a, a, a safe window. It's, we have a drilling window, right? So if the mud weight's too low, we'll have breakouts. And this is really we're just talking about with respect to wellbore stability, but low mud weight also can uh, maybe it can um, uh, promote the production of water. Now, you guys have all had drilling, I think. So, uh, if the mud weight's too high, then you induce tensile fractures. And if you have tensile fractures, they eventually lead to basically hydraulic fractures, right? And that's what these are essentially. And then you have lost circulation, where your drilling mud is basically going into the reservoir. It's, it's going into producing hydraulic fractures. And so, so you have this window. Of course, also, I mean, again, I'm talking about stability here, but also high mud weight would also lead to dam formation damage, too. Right? It would decrease the permeability, or can. Okay. So, so you have this window, and uh, I guess you guys probably took drilling from maybe from Ken, Professor King Gray, or Vaughn Ort. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or any any of you know Professor Gray? Yeah. Okay. So he has a he actually has a joint industry program here, uh, you know, where graduate students do research, and the name of it is Wider Windows, right. and so. The idea of this is to increase the mud window, mainly through preventing tensile fractures <clears throat> and preventing lost circulation. 